What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel and as you guys can see we are unboxing my new EXS handlebars. The EXS stands for Extraordinary Speed for those of you guys who don't know. Now these are the Air Over Compact Integrated Handlebars and I got these handlebars in 380 by 100. So yeah guys, I'm so excited to get these on the bike. I've been waiting and watching for a while to find some handlebars for this bike. So as you guys can see, this is what the integrated handlebars look like. It's a very sleek design with little branding on it. And that's what I wanted. I wanted some integrated handlebars with not a lot of branding all over the place. And these were just perfect. So I stumbled upon these when I was watching GC Performance's YouTube channel. So I saw these and the moment that I saw them, I knew that I had to get them. I knew that they would look great on my bike. And it was just a matter of catching the restock because they sell out all the time in these handlebars. So as soon as I made my purchase, there was a rep from EXS that reached out to me and he made sure that I had all of the necessary components that were compatible for my bike. So here you guys can see the measurements. I definitely decided to go with a shorter width because I was having some shoulder pain. Plus that's what all the pros are going with. So here you guys can see the comparison between my old handlebars and these new air over handlebars. And I decided to go with a smaller handlebar. I mean, aesthetically, it looks so much better than the wider handlebars. And uh, I just think that this would add to the flavor of my bike, especially when I'm out riding in group rides. So here I am taking my bike to Winner's Edge, which is my local trusted bike shop. They do all the work on my bike. And here's one of the owners, Paulo Medeiros. Now he's over here explaining to me the actual process. So guys, my head tube is definitely too long. So he was just explaining that there would be some extra left over and I would probably have to get it cut eventually. So I wasn't too sure about that initially because I've been used to riding at that level and at that height. I was also speaking to him about the cabling and if I would have enough cabling to travel with my bike because I like to travel with my bike different places and ride in different cities and states in America. So he said that he would try to leave some cabling so that when I pull off my handlebars, uh, I would be able to tuck them to the side, which is required when I pack it in the bike bag. I also want to let you guys know that EXX Cycling, they provide all of the necessary spacers that you need for whatever model bike you have. And they also provide the Garmin mount or the Wahoo mount or the Hammerhead mount. Whatever mount you need for your bike computer, they provide that as well. Also, they provide the undermount for like GoPros and the nighttime lights as well. So here I am picking up the bike, you guys, and I decided to go ahead and test it without the chop for about two weeks just to see if I was comfortable. And so this is me taking the bike to test it for two weeks. Here it is after the big chop. And this is what it looks like two weeks later, you guys. Look how sleek and clean that looks. So if you guys are interested in what kit I'm wearing, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, king.bp, and you can see all of the kits that I'm wearing on my rides. I'm definitely loyal to Pa Normal, and I would say that I got inspired to wear that brand mainly because of a cyclist named Daniel Sands. So I started following Daniel Sands on Instagram and I just saw the way that he put the combinations together and it just looked so clean and classy. It wasn't too flashy with all the crazy colors and things like that. So it just suited my style personally. I just want to give you guys some riding footage so you guys can see exactly how the handlebars look on the road. So I'm definitely proud of my bike build so far. I've definitely put a lot of money into this bike build. Um, switched out the wheels, switched out the handlebar. 
put an OSPW on there. So I think that the bike looks way more masculine. Um, it looks way more sporty with the upgrades that I've added. So the last upgrade that I'll probably do is my saddle. I do notice some uncomfortable times when I'm doing longer miles. So I'll probably go ahead and switch out the saddle. And that'll be the end of my bike build for now. So a little bit more footage of the bike on the road. I definitely can tell the aerodynamic benefits with this new handlebars. And like I said before, the bike feels faster. The bike feels a lot snappier when I put the power down. So I'm definitely excited that I went ahead and switched it out and upgraded my handlebars. So I just want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so to stay updated with my latest posts on YouTube. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. What do you guys think about my new handlebar upgrades? Leave a comment below. Let me know how you guys like it. Once again, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog.